no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. Alright, we are back on Parker's Prairie today. I did not get as much off-camera work done as I hoped to. In fact, I didn't get any done. Um, I did, however, do the uh, little bit of testing that I mentioned I was going to do in the last video uh, with the bales. And they do disappear, but... Um, I am talking with Ian Robson because he is doing a series on county line and he has been making bales and they've been staying so um, I'm talking with him to figure out what his trick is and uh, see and, uh, and just see you know what he's doing to get it to uh, to work correctly and not disappear after two days. Uh, I think it's that you have to ted the grass and you can't just you know go and bale it straight off like I have been. I think you actually have to uh, um, go and ted it first but I'm not sure I I could try that as well. Might have to do that. Make a couple bales you know, just straight off, and then make a couple bales where it's, uh, where I ted the grass first. Wow, that took all but 33% of this truck. Well, I, I think it was full. I don't even remember now. Now this time we aren't going to get stuck in the, uh, gate. So we'll, uh, so this gets full here. So we'll get this unloading and then we'll get the seed truck refilling. And then we will be all good. So I downloaded a few, uh, new mods today. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, a lot of them being like little scripts and stuff. One thing that I got is uh, um, a mod, it's called Indoor Camera. Basically it makes it so that you start on the indoor camera every single time uh, that you enter something. And that took 42%, wow. So uh, now I start in cab on everything. And then there's also one on there, it's called Farming Tablet. It's got some apps and stuff like that. Um, I have to look again. I don't remember how you open the thing. Um, well, in fact, we can look here really quick because I kind of want to check it out. Um, the mods I'm talking about all came off of the official mod hub here. So here is the indoor camera thing. Standard camera when entering vehicle is indoor. Pretty simple, self-explanatory. All right, here's the farming tablet, and then it's got three apps that are out for it. Uh, STRG plus Y and STRG plus X. I don't know what STRG is. STRG, what the heck would that be? Well, let's figure it out. Is it control X maybe? Shift X? Alt X? Uh, well, let's find out. What is the STRG key on? Let's find out where it is. So it refers to the control key. Right, 
control X doesn't do anything, left control X doesn't do anything. Hmm. I guess I'll have to figure that out then. So we'll shut these guys off. And we'll go ahead and hop in the planter. Hop on into the big bud here. And we'll head out and go plant some wheat. And like I said, I'm going to make sure that we don't get stuck in the gate this time. How is our... Let's check on our 89 here. Is doing. I checked on him one other time and he was sitting there doing circles for no reason. It was kind of ridiculous. So, how is this guy doing? So, he's almost done with his headland, his first headland. And then he'll work on his second and then he'll work some up and down passes. So, alright. Uh, so I have also made a decision that instead of converting my Eastern Dakota Farms map over, I think I'm going to do a brand new map. And this time, I was hoping to do a 16x, but my computer, like, lags out whenever I have it open in Giants Editor. So I think I'm going to have to skip on 16x. But um, I'd like to do a 4x and do it of... Um, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Montana. That's if I can fit all that on a 4X. If I can't, then I'll pick either North Dakota and Minnesota, North Dakota and South Dakota, or North Dakota and Montana. Um, you know, one of those, one of those three combinations there. Um, but I have to, uh, do the measurements yet and see, you know, what I can fit and whatnot, but I definitely would like to do, you know, I mean, it'd be nice if I could do all three states, but I don't know if it's going to happen, and I'm not sure if I want to do Minnesota or not. If I did, it'd be because of, like, sugar beets, um, but I don't know. I'd more so lean towards either North and South Dakota or um, North Dakota and Montana. But figured it, I'd rather just make a whole new map rather than try and mess with converting the other one over. Um, and just a fresh start, make things a little bit better uh, this time around. I mean, not that my map was awful before, it just, it, I don't know, it kind of lacked a little bit. But anyhow, we're going to go ahead here and get ourselves set up. I don't know that I actually need to do another headland or not. We'll find out once we get around here. Drop down and off we go. Tire tracks back there. Right. We are planting away now. It would be kind of neat if you could actually, like, fill this entire thing with seed if you wanted to, like if you didn't want to do fertilizer, or like you could uh, fill it with just fertilizer and do like application with it, 
That'd be kind of neat. But I'm sure it's not made for application at the very least. But it would be nice if you could fill everything with seed versus having to do both. Which maybe you can, I guess. I haven't... I don't know. But I'm sure each tank has just an individual fill type on it. Yeah, I was really hoping to do like a 16x map and really get, you know, all three states um, into the map and, you know, just have like a super awesome map, but oh well, I guess. And 4x is still pretty big. It's just not going to be covering quite as much as I had hoped, but I think if I did start a 16x, I'd probably be biting off more than I can chew anyways. Because it is, they are extremely large and a lot of work. Uh, so I think, I think I'm probably better off with a 4X anyways. But. Well, this tractor is running a little bit slower. Oh, wait, no. I think it's running the same speed, actually. But it is taking about three times, three, four times the swath that the other planter was, so. This definitely is not slower. This is the fastest way to plant, actually. I did also download the update on the Massey Ferguson pack. So I'm kind of curious to see what's all in that now. Uh, where is. There it is. So. Oh. Ah. It's in its own category. So what's new? The combine is designed standard with warning triangle. We got the 27 cut. I don't know with loading wall standard. I don't remember that. Here's the new round baler, which looks pretty nice. <laughs> I know he added quite a few things in there. I guess I never really paid attention to what was in it to begin with, so um, I haven't really used it much yet. I haven't really had a use for it because I've always been on a extremely large map where we're doing something like that. Yeah, uh, when I do make a new map, it'll have all kinds of add-ons. It'll have uh, all the standard crops, including uh, oats, rye, and sorghum. And then uh, it'll have the pigs on it, probably. It'll have dairy on it. Uh, I wish 17 had pigs, or uh, not pigs, beef in it, but unfortunately it is not, uh, at least not yet. Um, I think 17 does have mud now. I'm not sure. Uh, if it does, then I'll probably add that to it. Um, I'll add Seasons mod to it. Uh, so that way it works correctly with Seasons. You know, have fully working trees and all that fun stuff. Uh, it'll have all kinds of extra foliage layers in it. So all kinds of different grasses and whatnot. It's going to have tons and tons of detail. I'm probably going to try my hand at making some buildings and, uh, you know, make some buildings for it 
Uh, it'll have, I'm going to use the doors from County Line uh, because they, you know, you can roll them up as much as you want. Um, you don't have to do a certain amount. I forgot to do that before I started recording. But, uh, yeah. So what do we have for time here? 15 minutes. Okay. So I think I am going to have to cut this video just a little bit short. Uh, by about maybe 10 minutes. Because uh, I do have to leave here in about 10 minutes. So... But yeah, um, hopefully I can figure out uh, how Ian Robson is doing his bales. Uh, because if I can, then we will be all set to go. If all it takes is just me buying a tether, that will be no problem, obviously. Um, I do want to just re like, I need to go edit the save game XML or something and get rid of all the money. Uh, and whatnot. And then I'm going to check the... control menu and figure out some controls for uh, that tablet thing, the tablet app or whatever it is, you know, the farming tablet mod, figure out a shortcut key for that uh, to open it. I'll probably set up something on like my side panel or my joystick or something. I need to adjust some settings anyways for my side panel uh, because there's some things in there that are there's more than one thing on that key um, like for 15 which I have set to change my drive control direction to forward uh, if I'm in something that has straps on it uh, or tension belts as Giants calls them um, if I'm in something that has those it will uh, fasten all of those right when I hit that button so um, I need to change that uh, so that it does not do that anymore how is our other big bud doing he is on his second headland second and final John Deere is knocking out the field it looks like so that's good We'll get turned around here and we'll know, then we'll take a look at our other machines see how everything's doing and then I think I'll have to call it a video there just for time reasons because I don't have a lot of it right now I still want to get a video out of course so Alright, so I think we'll shut this guy down. And we'll have to tab on through everything. What in the world is this guy doing? Don't know. He's planting. That's all that I care. Just turning kind of goofily. You can see our DB planter sitting there. We'll probably hook those onto these tractors. To the 89 series tractors. And that's what they'll get. That's what these will get used for. So that guy's running pretty well yet. That one I'll leave there for now. This guy is still running strong. He's going to need some seed after a little while. Used up almost half of it already. It's definitely going to be kind of interesting on how he turns. But, oh well. Definitely getting dirty as well. I think what we'll do is I'm gonna stop this guy here in just a moment as soon as he gets up here a little bit farther. So right there I will stop him. And then we're going to Oh, that's right. Okay, and then we'll stop this one as well. And then that will do it for me for this video. Uh definitely 
cutting it a little bit short, but uh, I'm on a bit of a time crunch, so got to get it done. But otherwise, uh, otherwise it would be the full length video, but uh, unfortunately I don't have the time for a full one at this moment, and I may not at all. So I wanted to get one out. Uh, better having a shorter video than no video at all. So here are our DB90 planners. I believe they're 90s, or maybe they're 120s. I don't know, they're a DB90, but I think they're big enough to be a 120 or something like that. Or not quite. I don't know. Anyhow, guys, that is going to do it for me for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.